Hey y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, please go ahead and like it, share it, subscribe it, okay? Do not be afraid to come on through the building and hit that bell. Yeah. You want to be here every single time me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like a personal reading for me, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. Also, if you would like to make a little love offering to this channel, do not be afraid to hit me up at dftarot on Cash App or PayPal, y'all. Let's get into it. All that's coming to me today is that there are revelations, Okay. There are some revelations. Um, there are some truths, some things that need to come out. Okay, that's just, that's that's what I have. That is literally the prompt that Spirit gave me that made me jump up and jump on this reading. I say, what do we have? Okay, right out the gate, we come out swinging, y'all. Ten of Swords with the Death card, okay? Something is coming to a swift close. Okay, something is coming to a very swift close and a transformation. Something's about to change. There's a big change coming. The change is coming in from the astral realm. This change is something that is coming from the other side of the veil. There is a change and a revelation coming into, okay, into the realm of the living. Three of swords with the emperor, y'all. <sighs> Mm. it's almost like there's some type of spiritual rising that is happening um, here two of cups mm. with the justice card with the devil um, it just feels like there's something that may be being Something is rising from the dead. That, that's literally the energy. Something is rising from the dead. A union. Something is rising from the dead. Um, and some announcement is about to be made. Okay? Some announcement is about to be made. Um, you have somebody in deep thought. Okay? Somebody is in deep thought about rebellion. And just taking a plunge. Okay, somebody is thinking about taking a plunge, a total plunge in another direction. Strength card with judgment. Church bells ring when a judgment card comes through the building. Judgment came out early this time, y'all. Judgment and the tower. That is an energy. It's like something ghostly. Something ghostly. Something is rising from the dead. Um, y'all. There's a rebellious union coming towards someone. It's like a dark romance. It's very strong, y'all. Somebody is really being pulled. Pulled, pulled, pulled into some type of dark romance. Okay? It is a strong pull. Somebody is really a fool for this entity. Somebody, there is some kind of dark romance, dark pull. That literally has a hold of someone's heart. Like something is just coming. It's like it's coming from the other side of the veil. It's the total end, y'all, of one phase of someone's life. And it's a new, it's a new day. It's a new day. Something is coming in. Something is literally coming in. Like I literally see it coming in like a big poof of fog. Something is coming in. And it is coming to a queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles could be earth sign. Uh, queen of pentacles is earth sign. We're talking Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody high in Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy is a dark feminine. This is like a mean girl, y'all. This is a mean girl. This is a mean girl. And it is a sudden like lightning bolt kind of thing coming towards her and even coming from her whoever this woman is she emits a very electric or electrifying energy and there's a masculine that is something about him like his energy is literally 
It's like something that's rising from the dead, child. We're going to keep reading. Okay. We see the star and the moon. These two are a perfect match in night energy. This is like night energy, like, uh, you know, chaos and, and um, you know, the void. And, you know, at first there was darkness and all of that. These people, this relationship is being born of like a chaotic moment. Somebody, this male is a rebel. Yes. This male is a rebel and he's a thinker. He's somebody that's brooding. Okay. He's a uh, very sensual, very sexual. And this feminine is like a mean girl and something they're like a perfect match, but it's like something that's brewing. Um, you know, this is a, this is like a really deep, dark romance. It's something stormy. I just keep hearing the word stormy. Okay. If y'all have a kid, you may want to even name her stormy. There is something really stormy, like a thundercloud. And this relationship or this, this dark romance, this energy is coming in from like another realm, another place. And it is moving towards this dark feminine, this queen of pentacles. Okay. This is like, this is like mean girl energy. She's like a leader, takes no shit. Um, if anybody's ever watched, uh, just classic energy of a queen, like in an old film, it's an old Betty Davis film. I cannot think of the name of it, but it was about Queen Elizabeth. You know, in order for her to rule, you know, she had to be a little cutthroat. And some of that energy is coming from this Queen of Pentacles. In order for her to rule, she had to be a little cutthroat. Um, this is coming, okay, towards th this ending of one phase of life with this brand new beginning of another phase. Um, th this energy that's rising from the dead is like a heartbroken emperor that's coming into union, okay? And this is where the balance comes from. This man is a rebel, okay? This man is a rebel, and it's like there's some type of where you, this is this is unavoidable. This is um, destiny with this fool card energy we see, okay, and with this strength and this judgment. This is destiny. This is the type of union that you two could have avoided. Um, it's like a clash. You see judgment and tower. This was supposed to happen. This mean girl and this rebel here. This three of swords, emperor, devil card energy. And this Queen of Pentacles star energy, I would say the Tower Queen of Pentacles star energy. These are very illuminated energies, okay? There's a strong sense of illumination around these energies. Um, both of them carry a lot of spiritual rank, but this is like a dark masculine and a dark feminine. And they are coming together, okay? Um, we see this kind of dark romance with this star moon combination here with this Two of Wands. This is coming and it's coming soon. It is already rising. It is already moving forward. We see with this two of wands, um, this is something different. It's something unique about it. It's like something that was dead that is now being reborn. I don't see it being reborn like a reconciliation. It's not like this is a reconciliation. It's just an energy that was not in the earth. Okay. For this, um, for this tower, queen of pentacles, star card energy. Okay. And now it is okay. It wasn't there and now it's there. Um, it is one of those types of vibes. Okay. Something has entered her realm, her, uh, life, her life force, her crosshairs, her path. Um, and this is now moving towards her. Okay. This masculine and this, this storyline, if you will. Okay. Two of wands with the nine of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. Um, this queen of pentacles star tower. This is a very, uh, feisty, sharp tongue, sharp tongue. Okay. Sharp tongue, hot temper. This woman. Okay. Um, she makes no apologies. This is a woman that comes from a long legacy of women who have no problem bringing injury to the masculine nine of wands. Some of the women in her family may have been literally like fighters, or they may just be strong tongue. These are very strong, very matriarchal women. Somebody has a real maternal, like maternal strength and bloodline. If you were to go back far enough in your past life, you just might find that there is some royal blood there of some kind. Okay, seven of swords energy with the eight of swords. Okay, this is a woman that has no problem being strategic, sometimes being conniving or calculating. This is a queen of a very high, very dark matriarchal energy level. 
um, Eight of Swords. She's going to do whatever she has to do to get the things that she wants. She is very single-minded, this Queen of, Queen of Pentacles energy. She is the type of dark matriarchal energy that's like, hey, I see it. I want it. I get it. Okay. Eight of Swords energy. When she gets something on her mind, all she's going to care about is planting seeds to get that. Okay. Period. Um, we see this being her way and it's always been her way. It's always going to be her way. It's a way that was also on her bloodline. We see this number seven, eight, and seven. Okay. We see perfection. We see infinity. We see perfection. Okay. Um, this is somebody that is all about completion, infinity, completion, perfection, infinity, perfection, however you want to read that. Okay. And that is a repeated cycle. This is who she is. This is how she is. Okay. Okay. This is somebody that manifests their dreams quite frequently. This is a very powerful, powerful feminine energy page of cups. She thinks it and she gets it. This is somebody that manifests with ease. Um, so understand that she has manifested this, this breakthrough of this masculine showing up in her life the way that he has. Um, this kind of dark, brooding, and rebellious energy. She has manifested him. Okay, the chariot energy. He comes in and he comes in very quickly. When this man enters this woman's life, he's going to enter her life and it's going to be a disturbance. Um, it's like he comes in bumping things over, knocking things down. Um, it's a noisy entry into her life. It rearranges things. It shakes things up. It gets people's attention, not just hers, but others. All of a sudden, there's a huge shift in her life. Okay, we see the hanged man. Okay, this is some type of a, this man literally descends upon her life um almost like a fallen angel y'all yo okay almost like a fallen angel okay that is absolutely the case this man is someone that deals with a great deal of rejection he deals with um a lot of rejection fear um there's something very sexual about this man though um, there's some kind of authority and a great sexuality there um, within him. He has a charm. He has a lot of charm, maybe a dark charm, a dark humor. He is somebody that really attracts without trying. Okay, he may be the type that, you know, he's wearing the, the torn jeans and, you know, he might have the locks or he might have the long hair. And it's just like it comes to him with ease, like he's sexy without even trying. Um he has a way about himself. He may have a raspy voice. He knows a lot of secrets about a lot of things, okay? He's the type of person that knows a lot. He's well-trusted, okay? He has a lot of wisdom, but his wisdom is in the secrets that he knows and the knowledge that he can give, the knowledge that he can share, okay? And this man comes in almost like a loud kaboom, okay? It's like the entry of a shooting star. Um, he just drops into your life, okay? To the life of this... Um, into the life of this Queen of Pentacles, Star Card, Tower, Energy, Feminine, okay? Understand that there is an energetic likeness between these two. This is not a case of the Divine Feminine and all this, this dark brooding man shows up. There is an energetic likeness between these people. They are evenly yoked. They are both kind of a dark, like again, a stormy couple, okay? This man's past is one where he may have spent a lot of time celebrating out on the road. That's literally what I'm hearing, out on the road. He may have been, some for some reason, he was on the road. Was he um, uh, a poet? Was he a musician? Was he um, somehow involved in a job that required him to travel? This man has been on the road and spent a lot of time traveling on the road. And his, he prefers a woman that can manage, that can help him manage, that also has a lot of authority. She knows how to speak up. She may know something about legal matters. She may know something about, she may even be like a paralegal or something. He's looking for a woman, um, which is a part of this Tower Queen of Pentacles star card energy. This kind of Queen of Swords energy where she's a thinker. She knows the law. She understands numbers. He's looking for someone that can help him run businesses or help him make very important decisions. Again, there is a level of equality between this, these two, okay? And he's looking for a woman that can walk side by side with him shoulder to shoulder. That is the type of man we are, we are looking at here that descends, okay, into this woman's life. And she is able to stand with him. Both of them in a certain rebellious energy. I also know that this woman is good with conversation and she may also 
be attracted to or have quite a bit of Aquarius, Gemini, or um, Libra um, traits or energies, okay? Especially as it relates to communication and conversation, okay? This may be a serious um, strength for her, almost to the point of a genius level. Um, there is some genius element between these two anyway, okay? I get that vibe. The lovers, the king of pentacles, okay? This man loves money. And he is married to the money. Understand that. So there's a lot of room for money and financial management, um, financial gain around this partnership. Ace of Pentacles. Um, there's What did I just say? Look at this. Y'all see the coins just falling out the bag, baby. There is a lot of room for epic financial partnership around this relationship. Okay. The lovers. The king of pentacles. Okay. The hierophant. Then we see the ace of pentacles. Um... There's a money anointing over this relationship. Um, it just attracts money without looking for it. The two of you together attract money. It has a lot to do with what you respect. Um, you respect the mind. You respect the word. He respects the dollar. He respects rebellion. He's going to get his money. He believes he is a king. Okay, this man believes he deserves the money. He's going to manifest the money. And he's going to manifest the money with you. Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay, money will be manifested in this relationship without even blinking an eye. It will be so easy to do. Three of Pentacles energy. Okay, this man has a lot of people that he knows in terms of networking that he knows can help him get things done. Um, he also does have a spiritual base. There may be some things that this man is involved in spiritually. Okay, money magic. Okay, candle work. Um, fellowshipping with some other masculines that have similar interests and do similar things. These are the types of things he's a part of. This man has a lot of uh, spirituality to him, but it may be more like a cult spiritualism, you know, where he is um, doing what he has to do, especially money. I just keep hearing about money. Money, 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 money. This man is very serious about the dollar. And whatever magic that he does for money, please understand it works. It works well and it works fast. Okay. This man attracts money. He knows how to bring money to his door. He may have relatives or a grandmother that practiced hoodoo. Okay. That's what I'm getting and hearing. He knows quite a bit about magical things. However, remember, this man is kind of like, he's a king of secrecy. He doesn't tell everything that he knows. You wouldn't know that right away. Um, he may not reveal that to you. This man does keep secrets to, to the feminine that this man is coming to, okay? Um, three of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. Again, this man works very hard um, to get the things that he wants. He networks to get the things that he wants. He has no problem doing that. Um, this man has no problem walking away from somebody that is locked and doesn't want to earn and make money with him. He is about that dollar. The will of fortune with the five of pentacles. This man has a great fear, spiritually speaking, that if his magic fails or if he fails as a man or somebody with a hard work ethic, he believes that he will end up homeless. Okay, five of pentacles. This man may also be afraid that if he ends up homeless, he will have to sell his body. Okay, in order to make money. Okay, and that is the absolute truth. This money, this man has a cutthroat side to him as well. This is why he's so attracted to this Tower Queen of Pentacles star card energy. Okay, because he has a cutthroat side to him as well. This man would indeed hustle, scam, whatever he has to do if he had to do it to get money, to survive, to not end up in the Five of Pentacles. This man can get grimy. Um, right now, he lives in a more magical side of things. He lives in a more of a, of a kind of dark charm. But if he had to get down and go hard, this man would get down and go hard. Like this man is like, uh, you know, he can get out there and get to it. He may have some island background. Um, he may be African. Okay. Um, he may be from New York City. I'm telling y'all everything that's coming to me. Okay. He may be from New York City. Um, I, I am seeing beaches though. He may be from the islands. He may be from California or Florida, Miami. Okay. This man may be from like San Tropez. There's something very, um, there's something about this man. Um, he could be even from Greece. 
I just keep hearing grease. There's something about this man that is like spiritually foreign even, you know, he has a different way about himself spiritually. He is he wearing, he might be wearing body oils or he might be carrying certain herbs in his pockets. This man is, is he's deep, not because of what he's talking about, but because of his bloodline, because of his masculinity, because of what he attracts. This man may be like worshiping Midas or praying to Midas or trying to learn about Midas. He's very serious about his money. He may also be um, like studying the coin itself, cosmic currency, how to draw money. Um, he may be studying finance. He may have a degree in finance. He may be pursuing a degree in finance. Um, he may also be very attracted to the story of Mansa Musa. Okay, there's a lot going on with this man in regards to money. And I'm seeing gold bills flying around him. This man does attract money. This is not just conversation. He attracts money. For real, okay? It is just something that is on his bloodline, okay? We see the magician. There are also magicians on his bloodline. This is a very different kind of man in terms of his spirituality and his bloodline. And the same can be said for this feminine. This is a very unique spiritual pairing, okay? And these people are literally falling into a period of time where they are kind of being drawn and put together, okay, by spirit. This was destined, though. Um, it has to do with the likeness of the bloodlines, the likeness of the spirit, okay, and the likeness of the times, okay? They're kind of in the same time in their life, okay? And they are being pulled together. Um, this man knows how to alchemize energy. As a magician, this is kind of his specialty, understanding intentions, time, astrology, when to do certain things, when to say certain things. Um, there is a certain wizard-like property to this masculine, okay? I can't even tell you no lies, okay? Page of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. This man knows how to guard his money. And this, but now there may be a side to this man where he will pretty much go to any length to guard that money. And I'm just going to leave it at that, okay? He's not going to play a nan game with nobody about his money. Um, Six of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Um, this man is also a romancer. He knows how to chase women. He knows how to chase love. He knows how to chase romance. He doesn't only chase the bag, okay? Um, this man is about to come into, uh, I don't even know how to say it. He's about to portal into another space, okay? And that is kind of what this Ten of Swords speaks to, this ending of a space in his life where he's about to kind of portal into a different space. And the different space is the life of that Queen of Pentacles star card tower energy, okay? Seven of Cups, what you need to know in the Four of Wands, this man has manifested you, if you are that Tower Queen of Pentacles uh, star card energy, this man has manifested you. This man gets what he wants. This man has manifested you in the spirit he's been wishing for you, a woman that is not just sitting around being super nice, somebody that can carry on with him spiritually, somebody that can match his dark masculine energy, somebody that can match his ability to be calculating and smart and understand legalities, business decisions, help him with money. He's been looking for someone like this, okay? He's been looking for someone that can handle the fact that he knows how to move and shake um, in multiple arenas and do what he needs to do, okay? This man is is comes from, you know, what it seems like is a pretty uh, diverse, okay, environment. He may have grown up in an impoverished environment, okay, where he learned a lot of different skills spiritually and physically, okay? And he has manifested you for the, for the sake of marriage. This man was looking for a counterpart. This is what he was asking for, praying for, doing magic for, trying to manifest is a dark feminine counterpart. Somebody that he knows can carry on, you know, who he is and what he's all about. Okay. Queen of Cups with the Nine of Swords. This man does not want a Queen of Cups energy in his life. He's not looking for a super light energy because he believes he will only hurt her and leave her in nightmares and anxiety. He thinks he needs a woman that really has a good mind, like smart, a good thinker, strong. He's very adamant about having that type of woman in his life. And that's what he's looking for. He's not looking for anything else. He hasn't tried to manifest anything else. Also understand that this Tower Queen of Pentacles star card energy feminine also was looking to manifest somebody that was of a darker energy. So I need y'all to understand 
that is the nature of this relationship and the nature of these people, okay? You know, you can look around, okay, and see certain couples that are out there in the, in the you know, celebrity world. I hate to use celebrities, but we do all know them, and it is a good example, okay? There is a lot of dark energy present in certain celebrity couples. That is, they may be looking Beyonce and Jay-Z. There's a lot of power. Um, there's stories of intimidation, business moves. Whatever they got to do to get the money, being the best dressed, being the most competitive, having the best of everything. You know, there is a lot of, of alchemizing of dark energy that is obviously happening between the two of them, okay? And I'm sure that she was looking for a very powerful man to help her advance her career. That is something that must have been in her heart. I am sure that he was looking for a woman that knew how to alchemize her beauty and use it as power. Okay, and use it as charm to kind of charm her way through various circles. And he's been able to cloak himself in that. So there was a lot of dark alchemy that happened between these two people. And that is the type of energy that is coming up, coming up on this board. And you need to understand whoever you are, whatever it is that you've been thinking about and wanting to ascend to, what you consider to be ascension, it does live and thrive with this man and with this relationship. Okay, the two of you together do have a great deal of luck that will come your way in terms of gaining money and power, okay? That is something that is just on this relationship, whether you want it to be or not. We see the Ace of Wands with the Ace of Cups. There is a partnership between the two of you that is perfect, the perfect masculine and feminine energy coupled together, okay? We saw it earlier with the star and the moon coming out together. There is a level of perfect astral and earth realm blend between the two of you okay you guys balance each other out um both of you have fiery and stormy emotions that is something to be aware of okay that's all i got to say um you also have fiery and stormy emotions when you communicate and when you have sex okay this is the two places that those things really show up and show out we see this page of pentacles energy. You both know how to focus and concentrate when it's time. You both know how to step into a room and study your knowledge. Whatever that knowledge is, whether it's occult knowledge, wisdom, the Bible, you both are very scholarly in that you study spirituality in one way or the other. Okay, King of Swords comes out with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this no, this man is one that will detach and go out here and get on the road and get his money. Okay, he's not just sitting in the house with no woman. He's not that kind of man. He's about money. He's not trying to just be like, okay, well, you know, I'm here. We hit, no, I've been here for these two days. Now I got to get out here and get this money. Um, that's who he is and how, that's how he is. He simply will not have it any other way. He isn't wired like that. Four of Cups energy with the Queen of Wands. He is not wired to not be out there chasing the bag. Okay, King of Cups. This man knows how to soothe you when you're upset. Okay, he understands that innately, how he can get you into a different space, how he can get you to calm down, how he can get you to relax. He has a great ability to harness your energy and keep you from burning yourself out. This may be something that you have not seen with masculines before. Okay, this is something that he's able to do based on the likeness of y'all's energies and spirits. He's able to help you to kind of make it through certain things. Also understand that this man moves very quickly. If he comes up with a business idea, he's not just talking. He's going to get that done. He's going to start on it that day. He's going to start on it that long after he told you about it, okay? This man is a mover. He is a shaker. He is a doer. He gets up. He makes it happen. He has a very strong energy, and he's always looking to the future, future face and future plans, where we going, what we doing, what's up, what's going on, okay? That's who he is. That's how he is. Um, this stands to be a very important relationship, okay? Um, period. A very important relationship, not, not relationship um, in the life of this star card, Queen of Pentacles tower card energy. This nine of cups with the sun kind of comes through letting you know that this is a man that loves the gratification and he's greedy. Okay, so understand that he, he that's part of the reason he's so stuck on this money. He also ties his value and his ego very caught up in the money, y'all. Okay, sun card energy with the page of wands. Um, this man feels that you are someone that he knows he can use to kind of help him kind of identify. He feels you're good in discernment. 
spiritually speaking, kind of helping him identify who he should go to, where's the next adventure, where's the next opportunity, you know, point me in the next direction. He's trusting you as someone that can be kind of a guide spiritually and an influencer, okay, that he can depend on. Knight of Wands, this man recognizes that you have spiritual gifts, Queen of Pentacles, Tower, uh, Star Card, Energy. Knight of Wands with the Six of Wands, okay? And the high priestess, this man also recognizes and understands that listening to your secrets and listening to your guidance can help him be a king and can also help him get to success, okay, quickly um, in a way that he feels good about. We see the two of pentacles, okay, with the five of swords. This man is always on the fence looking for some kind of betrayal. So he believes that your ability to kind of see you know, be a seer, be somebody that can give him messages. You may have found that you're able to kind of tell him what's coming, what should he be aware of, you know, what matters, you know, don't hang with this person. You may not want to take that deal. Don't sign that contract. You have kind of been a bit of, been a bit of a good luck charm for this man in the past. And he has no, and this is spiritually speaking, he's not going to let you go. You two have that connection. Okay. This high priestess energy. Okay. You've been able to go through different things, different books and give him hidden knowledge. Hidden knowledge could be the book of his life, okay? Look into his life. Tell him exactly what is going on. Nine of swords, okay, with the two of cups. This man feels that his worry and anxiety is, is very soothed by you and what you're able to pour into him, magically speaking, because this is a situation where both people understand the spiritual elements of things, understand how to alchemize their energy, Okay, I hate to keep using that word, but that is what we see. That's what's coming through. And that is what he's looking for. That's a big part of why he's in this relationship. Okay, this man has been injured in all types of different spiritual warfare, emotional warfare, and he's able to take it. Okay, it's not something that has broken him. Nine of Pentacles. He knows that you too can take it. He's not worried about you either being broken apart. This man believes that you can come back from anything. So you have in this situation to this Queen of Pentacles Tower energy, okay, star card energy. This is a man that truly believes you are capable of taking things, spiritually speaking, and working them out. Okay, so somebody that sees you as resilient, and I see you two together being very, very, very challenging in terms of spiritual warfare. Um, if any spiritual warfare were to come to y'all, it, it's look out because y'all, y'all hellified, even without trying to be. Okay, three of pentacles, seven of wands with the queen of cups. Again, this man has no problem, um, blocking, even in his network, blocking out queen of cups energy. He has no interest in a woman that is soft and sensitive in that way. That just isn't what turns him on. Um, Ten of Swords, that's a big turn off for him. And he is going to remove any energies like that from his life the closer he gets to you and pretty much from the point that he meets you, okay? Um, what is the purpose of this relationship? What does it stand to accomplish? What is it supposed to accomplish? What is the purpose, Spirit? What is the goal of this very, this spiritually lethal, okay? This, this relationship lethal right here, Okay? We see the seven of pentacles. Um, there is some seeds to be planted now from this relationship that will come to fruition in the future. What are those things, Spirit? What is this relationship to birth? Because there's a high birthing energy over this relationship. More like manifestation, though, not necessarily the birth of physical children. More like the manifestation of this or that, okay? Two of swords, okay? Two of swords, with the Ace of Wands, okay? This relationship marks the cutting off of some particular new beginning. It stops something from starting, okay? This relationship puts a cap on the start of something. What is that spirit? This, this relationship comes in and changes the trajectory um, by cutting homelessness, eviction, any of that off of this man's bloodline. Remember, this man has a fear of this entering his bloodline. He has a fear of losing this, this kind of money mantle that has fallen on his back. He has a fear of this. So he is out here trying to manifest a woman that will help him get that money. Um, the two of you together would remove poverty from his bloodline. Remember, there were some early people in his bloodline that were impoverished. Okay, so whatever or, or he came from poverty, whatever mantle 
that he has, whatever he's doing, whatever spiritually he's doing to attract money to himself, whatever relatives he had that did have money, there is some poverty that came through his bloodline at one time that he saw and he's paranoid. This man will literally damn near sell his body. He'll do anything to never end up back in an impoverished situation, okay? So whatever was on his bloodline that he's able to access and get this money, he's trying to ensure that any other thing that was trying to enter his bloodline through whatever generation of his family that was impoverished cannot come back on his bloodline. Getting involved with this Queen of Pentacles Tower Star card energy does remove the possibility of that being brought, okay? back into his bloodline it does remove that okay it does take that possibility away from his bloodline um five of pentacles with the fool it does give him a completely brand new and fresh new start it does take him in a completely brand new new brand new okay direction okay a totally different uh not even and even more than that it just changes the trajectory where he's not able to get back to those things that he fears so much which are being impoverished, okay, potentially going hungry. This man gets a chance to kind of jump into a new beginning. He does hold on to money in this new beginning with you. Four of Pentacles, he continues to manifest money. He continues to draw certain celebrity or finance to himself. You two may also have a good chance of becoming social media influencers. Whether you want to be, I don't know, but that could potentially follow y'all's relationship, okay? This man and his emperor energy, okay? We see him being a mighty force, okay? Baby, with the Hierophant, you know what that said to me? You know what the Emperor with the Chariot and the Hierophant said to me? I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. Okay, that's what that's giving, okay? Hey, baby, you, you make me better. Okay, and that's what this man was looking for. He was looking for a woman that could add to the weight of what it is that he's got going on. You see what I'm saying? That could add to the weight of that. A woman that can add to what he's trying to do, not just in the in the physical realm, but also in the spiritual realm. Okay. He's very adamant about that. So finding you for him was like, okay, now I found my match. Now I found my person. Okay. King of Swords. This man is like, you here. This what it is. Let's start planning for a future. This man is making decisions. Um, spiritually and otherwise, for y'all to move into a future. He would like for y'all to be fulfilled. He would like for y'all to start building a treasure together. Remember, this man is obsessed with, I don't ever want to end up, you know, in a bad situation financially. So he will start trying to, first of all, he will show you some of the treasures he already has. This man may have valuable items that no one knows he has. Um, I'm hearing metals like metals you know old coins or um china dishes or something that he's not necessarily telling anyone something that would mean a lot on antiques road show okay family heirlooms things of that nature that have value okay maybe real wood furniture things like that queen of pentacles energy with the page of wands okay this man knows who you are and what you are and spirit is ready for y'all to really go on an adventure Okay, and it's only an adventure because it's a very strong energy and y'all would not know where this is going to take you, but it does have a lot of power to it, okay? What would be the ultimate accomplishment or relationship between these two people, Spirit? Okay. What would it be, honey? Okay. We see the moon card. Coming out first and foremost, right behind the moon card, okay, we see the five of wands. So the two of you would have a very, very, very high level of success fighting, you know, being in your shadow self and standing up for what you believe. Like really, I almost want to say steamrolling a competition. You guys could get into business together and be extremely successful. Ten of cups with the four of wands, okay? We see longevity and the opportunity for a familial situation to come from this, but also money and business, okay? Y'all could be a power couple, social media influencer, power couple, um, without even really trying, okay? 
Um, that is actually just like a mantle that comes with this relationship because of y'all's bloodlines and how they intermingle. So you guys would have a lot of choices for standing up and being a power couple. It would just be whether or not you wanted that attention. Even if you didn't want the attention, this relationship attracts money and it attracts power. Whether that's just in your community, whether you decide to take it out into the social media realm or not. This is a very powerful uh kind of dark charm couple um and that is the revelation y'all remember we went into this asking for revelation um spirit is basically um putting it out there there is a dark masculine energy that is coming into the collective for those who resonate with dark feminine energy those who want something a little more rebellious somebody that wants something that has a little more of uh maybe a little darker a little more into the occult realm of things when it comes to looking for love he coming, gal. He coming, okay? If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to come to the building, hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages. And as I always say, y'all don't be afraid to feed the tarot reader, okay? We're not going to bite you. Just a little piece of cheese, girl. I always say a little Swiss cheese, a little Gouda. Just a little, take a little smidgen. Okay, send a little love offering, if you will, a cheese offering money on over to DF Tarot Tea at Cash App or PayPal. And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.